Alright, so in this problem we're trying to find the normal stress and the shearing stress in the glute splice. So this is a stress on an oblique plane under axial loading. So when we have a scenario like this, we have two formulas that are given to us. And they are actually derived formulas. I'm not going to go through how to derive them, but it's, it's in your best interest to memorize these formulas. So we have a formula for the normal stress and a formula for the shearing stress. And so our formula for the normal stress is P over A naught times cosine squared theta. And then our formula for the shearing stress is P over A naught times sine theta, cosine theta. And so we have several things we need to get here. We need to get P, we need to get A naught, and we need to figure out what theta is. So our P is given to us up here in the problem, and it's a 1.8 kilopounds. And so we need to just get that in pounds, and that's going to be 1,800 pound force. And then we need to get A naught, and A naught is the cross-sectional area. And so that's given to us here. We have a three by five piece of wood. So three inches times five inches, cross-sectional area, 15 inches squared. So we have P, we have A naught, and now we just need to figure out what theta is. So when we have a problem like this, what I like to do is draw, so we're going to have our uh, axial force P is going to be split into two components, V and F. F is always going to be normal to the splice or the oblique plane. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that on here. And our 90 degree angle, this is going to be F. And then we're also going to have a tangential force. V. And this, this is just splitting our uh, load P into two components. And so, and then we have a axial line just going straight down the center of this. So this angle right here is going to be our angle theta always. This is always true for this type of problem. And so the way that we can find this angle theta is by our um, properties of angles. So we know that this is also going to be 60 degrees because we're given 60 degrees here. And this right here is a 90 degree angle. So 90 minus 60 gives us theta is 30 degrees. So theta is equal to 30 degrees. And now really all we have to do is just plug all this into our formulas. So let's go ahead and solve for the normal stress first. 1800 pounds over 15 inches squared times cosine squared 30 degrees which gives us that our normal stress is equal to 90 psi and now for the shearing stress And this gives us that our shearing stress is equal to 52 PSI. So that's all for this problem. And it's going to be in your best interest to memorize these two formulas because they will be used more often.